anyone know what I'm playing yet? Alright. Let's do the intro. In a world covered by endless water, people are forced to eat out a living on the small patches of land that remain above the sea. The people of this world rely on ancient technology driven by quantum refractors, a powerful energy source. These refractors lie in ancient ruins underground and in the sea and are sought out by explorers called diggers. These brave explorers are the sole source of refractor energy, which has become a cornerstone of the emerging civilizations. Originally, this was the diggers' only purpose, to find refractors so that civilization might endure. However, over the years, the story of a fabulous treasure, the legendary Mother Lode, began to mix among the diggers. The Mother Lode, a treasure so great that if it were discovered, it would provide so much power that the world never need fear running out of energy. Seeking this mother load, diggers travel from one island to another in their flying machines, ever hoping that they'll find what they seek just over the horizon. Hope. Despair. Charity. Greed. Duty. Power. Who can say what truly motivates the diggers? Alright, <clears throat> welcome to, wait for it, Mega Man Legends. Alright, now I'm, here's what I'm going to do, I'm going to exit out the game after going to the first save, and then a little trick that I learned. You push start, hit select, reset game. Alright. Okay. The parts right there. Okay, I think the camera should be good. Now see you do easy, hard. Easy, normal, or hard. Oh, jeez. Oh, I'm going to do easy. Because, you know, my time limit of 31 minutes is not very long. So, I really can't do normal or hard. Uh, let's get this going. Here we go. I'm going to show all the cutscenes as well. So, that's going to take some time. So, I don't know how long or, or how many parts are going to be. So, we'll see how this goes. This part's pretty cool right here. Mega Man got some ninja skills here. Get ready for Mega Man ninja skills. Ninja skills. Look, you can guess. I'm picking something up on my screen. Looks like a Reaver bot. You better get out of there. Come on. Right. You see anything? Let me know. Here we go. Here we go. 
Okay. Now, special items, jet skates, Buster Parts, Buster Max. Let's get this going. Okay, see this door? Do you see a door? Yes, I see a door. <laughs> it's not far from your current position. Okay, now here's another thing that you can do. I'll show you right after. Where are you going? Roll just tells you where you're going. Alright, you see this right here? Be careful, Mega Man. It looks like we got you surrounded. Mega Man, are you alright? Yeah, it's pretty cool, isn't it? <clears throat> now, this game was originally for uh, Nintendo 64, so it's not going to be the same controls as that, obviously. The Reaver bots. Ah man, the shards didn't go that good this time. Usually I get a blue and a purple, but not today, not this time. That's more like it. No need to put that on, since this is easy mode. Now, if it was normal or hard, you definitely would want that. Of you. It's probably a reaver boss. Be careful. Okay. Alright, first boss. Okay. So apparently, this plug isn't plugged in. Hang on for the delay. Okay. Alright, we're back in business here. Alright, should be good enough. Okay, that's a little bit better. Scott, I'm glad to have to say that after being underground for so long. Hmm, I wonder where Roar went. Back for more? Mega Man's going bye bye. <laughs> Goodbye, Mega Man. See ya. 
not. in here. Rance, can you open up the number 11 valve again? Got it. We'd better find some place to sit down. Mega Man, check the map. There's an island called Cadillacs about 100 miles southwest. Good. Check it. That does not look like Cadillac's Island at all. <laughs> that, and look, they just go right through trees and or in mountains, and somehow nothing got destroyed. It, isn't that interesting? <laughs> uh. these police cars oh my goodness I would so like to run one of them those are so tight I mean look at these police vehicles <laughs> they're so small certainly put on quite a show, but it looks like everyone's all right. Let me welcome you to Catalox Island. Now, I'd like to ask one of you to come with me to the station. We need you to fill out some immigration forms so you can get your registration and ID card. You can't enter the city without one. Don't worry. 
It won't take very long. While you're waiting, you can spend your time in the shopping arcade next to the city. You don't need an ID card to get in there. <laughs> Are you ready to go, Professor? Okay, so <clears throat> when you're on this point, it's very, very easy. First, you go through this door right here, which is very obvious because there's not that many ways on this game. Uh, game's pretty basic. Let's see if I can get this can in the bread stand and get another 1,000 coins. Booyah, I got it. <clears throat> now, one important thing that you gotta do is get this broken cleaner for the vacuum arm. I'm just gonna show you all around what you, what you do here. Okay, got all of that. Yes, I'm willing to save your husband. No need to save data. Come in this hole right here, the refractor shard. Thanks you for rescuing him. Then down here is very important. Why is it very important? You'll see in a second. Good money, I'll tell you that. This is the reason why. Rapid fire. Plus one on rapid. Rapid is very important on uh, Mega Man Legends 1 and 2. So, um, you really want it. And then if you want a little bit extra money, come through here. Get this guy going. And then if since you don't have double jumps, simply do this. And then hopefully one or a few refractors go down. But it really doesn't matter because uh, on easy mode you get times four coins. Or time four zennies, whatever you want to call it.
Hippopotamus. <laughs> Mega Man, were you able to find anything? Oh, if you can't find any parts in town. I guess we'll have to try digging for them ourselves. That's what the man at the junk store said. That might take a while. Which means... Huh? Mega Man, what's that? It looks like a weapons upgrade module. Oh, this? Yeah, the junk store man gave it to me. He said we could use this car to hook it up. You mean we can use this car? Well, come on then. Let's get it attached right away. There, it's ready. This weapon lets you use landmines. Just drop them in front of an oncoming enemy and boom! Just remember, there's a limited number of mines, so make sure you use them sparingly. Do you want me to explain what this weapon does again? No. I'll get to work on fixing this car up. I'll be able to help you out and maybe spot for you if I can get it running again. Okay, and then just leave. Ah, there you are. <coughs> ah, there you are. I've been looking for you so I could give you this. Your citizen's card. Now you'll be able to use the city gates. Of course, there are some gates that can't be opened, right? What's that? Pirates. We've received information that indicates there are some headed this way. So as a precaution, we're evacuating the civilians and locking the gates. Pirates? Um, our grandfather is still inside the city. Will he be all right? Well... I'm sure he's heard the announcements about the pirates. If I see him, I'll make sure he gets to a safe place. If you'll excuse me. I'm worried about Gramps. I hope he'll be okay. I'll go look for him. You wait here. Okay, Mega Man. Be careful. I'm just gonna skip through that part right there, save some time, and now meet the parts. Okay, got it? Once the decision's made, there's no turning back. Nothing less than 100%. And remember, it's more than just guns and ships. It's whoever has the most information that wins, right? Right, we understand. You need to keep your costs and risks as low as possible and stay on schedule. That's right. You've got it. Huh? What are you looking at? Okay, back to business here. It's empty. Alright, look through all the trash cans here. I'll show you each location. Broken motor is definitely something that you want to get. Um... I think this trash can is empty, let's see. Yep, empty for now. By the way, don't kick us. <laughs> 
Save time, let's do that. Hey, Mega Man! Come to check up on me, eh? Here, let me introduce you to the mayor of this island, Amelia. I'm Amelia. Nice to meet you. I'm an old friend of Professor Barrow's. I worked as his assistant for a while, while I was in school. <laughs> it's a small world, isn't it? To tell you the truth, we've gotten reports that there are some pirates headed this way. I was asking the professor if he might have any idea what they're after. I'll bet anything they're after the legendary treasure supposedly buried on this island. There are a lot of stories about the treasure, but no one knows exactly what it is. I thought maybe you might know something about it, Professor. I've been in the digging business a long time, but I haven't been able to find out anything about this island's treasure except legends and myths. Look, Mega Man, I'll be here for a while talking with Amelia. So why don't you go back and keep an eye on Roll? Tell her not to worry about me, okay? Whatever you say, Professor. I don't know, Mega Man. What? What did I ever do to you? Okay, so part one is going to end probably just before the first battle. So. I don't know exactly what I'll, what will happen, but when the um, game just randomly stops, just know that that's all I could record for one video. Don't you know you can't treat girls that way? Hey, hold on. Down, boy. Down. Paprika. Now this part's actually pretty funny. You all right? Uh, um. Tron is all in love with Mega Man, and then watch what happens. <laughs> this is pretty funny. You, you just mind your own business. <laughs> and then she just starts dipping. Alright, let's get to the first part here, at least. No! Oh, that was bad. But the good news is, it only costs 40 GP, so it's not going to do anything. So, basically this first recording is going to stop soon, like I said, the 30-31 minute limit for whatever reason, so, part two will be coming soon. Omega Man! Oh, by the way. Where's Graham? That's how it is. Landmines. I hope you'll be okay. By the way, did you see those weird looking ships that just flew past here? I've never seen ones like that before. I wonder who's they are. Uh -huh. 